We're going to do the Dr. Bot Bud question. Dr. Bot Bud wants to learn. <laughs> wants to learn how to be more human. Dr. Bot Bud wants to know. Which recent news story is the most interesting? Why? Hmm. Most recent news story. That's a weird question, but okay. Okay, I mean, I, I can do this. I can do this. Here's my general thing, right? Is that I don't pay a lot of attention to the news because uh, the news is just... The news tends to skew towards the bad shit all around us. And I already know the world's bad. And the, the world isn't fundamentally overflowing bad all the time, every second, of the, every moment. But if you only follow the news lines and you don't get your media from other sources, that's, that's how it feels, right? At least it does to me. So I, I choose not to put the stresses of all the news into my brain. I got a lot of things I want to do. Um, so I only skim those things. But uh, strangely enough, I also... Like uh, Reddit is one of the places where I spend some time several times a week and I scroll through Reddit and I, I check out like just what's going on there. Sometimes it's just silly stuff. Um, but to get, I, by the time things hit the, the general news, I get to see some of the counterpoints or supporting points and they rise up in Reddit. So that, that's actually been pretty cool. Um, but recently, so I read a news article uh, just today, in fact, uh, about a company and I think it's called like Inner Health. This company, um, they've been at it for a while, um, and their whole shtick is, and it's a good shtick, like they're, they're, the, the core pitch of their company is that they use blood testing and they have, they, they track, um, uh, they track quite a few data points, right? Like, um, I, I forgot how many data points, but you know, it's more than like two. So they, I want to say like 200, but I don't think that's right. Um, but basically what they do is they, they, um, they recognize that health is personalized, which we know everyone's different, you know, or, or they have, they have there's commonalities, but you know what I mean? So their whole thing is, is that um, they work with a company uh, where people will show up, <laughs> certified people, and they will draw blood for you. Um, you can get your blood done or you can go to a blood place and have your blood drawn. And so what they do is they analyze your DNA and your blood. And then from that, they basically uh, prescribe um, a, uh, different types of foods to eat, uh, and they also look to see if some of your markers are um, are they're having um, like you have less than what you need for those markers, or you have too much, right? So they help start to personalize medicine in that respect. They don't prescribe medicine or anything, but this is primarily for uh, for health um, and diet. And uh, the reason why I found this company is because I read the article today. Um, you know, like I I want to live forever. I'm not gonna lie. You know, some people are like, oh, the I, I, if I can live forever, then I can choose when to stop. You know, like we can remove the taboo around that. You know, if you get to a certain age, you're like, all right, I've done 300. I've I've kind of sussed out all the things I want to I want to check out. Right. Um, so uh, anyways, um, the article is about a group of scientists. That was just a little like little piece that I found from the article. I, I think I, I forgot where I read this today. Uh, some some new site, um, and um, kitty kitty kitty, come on baby, you can come up here if you want. Anyways, so um, what the scientists are doing is they they've they they're like, hey, you can't live forever, but you could live a much healthier and and uh, not healthier. You can have yeah, you can have a healthier life with less disease and so the idea is that they're treating age as a disease and if it's a disease then the treatments for disease then um are going to help stave off having that disease so one of the things that that happens is that we have a uh, um i think we have it, it's it's called nad and this nad um i want to say it's a molecule could be wrong but this nad molecule basically uh, is responsible for um telling your cells when you when you get sick or when you're at, you have a deficit and so it's responsible for telling your cells to regenerate more um and some of this is triggered by other things like fasting there's some interesting science around that and uh, a number of other things so um but uh so now they're working on the problem of like how do you stimulate um nad production because what they found is that your nad production 
um, from comparing from when you're 20 to about 40, 50, it becomes about 50%. And when your cells aren't signaled to continue to produce, oh, Miss Kitty, then um, then what happens, you know, is that you start to have bad, bad, like cellular copies, you know, and you, you start to have breakdown, you, you, get, you get gray hair, you know, you get disease, cancer, lots of things that come from this, right? So it's an interesting kitty. That's weird. Kitty, kitty. Come on up here, baby. What's going on? She's acting silly again. Um, so it's an interesting uh, concept. So that's that's one of the things I read today. So yeah, so the concept is cool. It's not the first time I've heard of it, but I always have like a, an eye out for that. So, but this company is interesting because they're trying to give you dietary um, and health analysis um, you know, and trying to just kind of commoditize the blood test and um, genetic um, DNA sequencing, right? Um, and taking it out of like this is just a, a you know, it's like so to do the to do the thing is like six seven hundred dollars. So it's still pretty expensive. They have smaller, they have cheaper packages, right? But uh, they would have less things. Um, but I'm glad to see that companies are starting to think about health and diet and and uh, personalized evaluation uh, and they're trying to wrap it into you know into um actionable data so they have their little app and you know whatnot and they suggest what types of foods can give you blah and blah right like so they're helping just kind of like allow a way for people to have uh, more insights and information about themselves but also to understand through as much science as they they've um or as much research as they're doing um how to do things like improve your diet right so um which you know, you don't really get that from normal medical institutions. So it's good to see companies stepping up into that space. Now, parts of my brain go, I wonder what, um, you know, what that's going to mean for like uh, your own data. I'm sure it's supposed to be secure, but you don't know, you don't, you know, like what you're tracking on. I don't know if this company interfaces with insurance. I don't think so. It feels like it's more of a service right now, but there are a lot of things that, you know, that come up from that. So that was very, very cool. Um, so yeah, that, that was me today. Interesting question, actually. At first I was like, whatever. Hmm. Oven says, Muse, the devastation that the recent super typhoon caused here in the Philippines. It was pretty crazy. Uh, so uh, we heard earlier, um, Loghead was saying the southern Philippines got smushed and northern Philippines did not. Oven, you're doing all right too, right? I think we talked about it. But um, you said that, uh, I forget which mountain, but there's a mountain range uh, that, that basically breaks most of your, your typhoons. Lindon says, hmm, for me, it's... How we are getting accustomed to the pandemic. Last two to three months, we're all terrified. Yeah, interesting, Lindon. Um, yeah, you know, like humans are incredibly resistant. Um, I mean, given the state of the world right now, things are pretty crazy, you know. Um, I mean, here in the end, because I'm in the United States, right? I'm in California. I'm next to the Golden Gate Bridge, basically. And um, which I like to call the GG Bridge these days. Um, and, um, you know, I think at, at the height, or you, the U.S., we are at like 50,000 cases a day, right? And it's it's scary. Definitely scary if, for different people in different fields, right? We have some friends that that are uh, in the medical industry, um, and it's it's tough. Like, we have some friends in Canada that are having a really hard time. Human beings, this is becoming a way of life, you know? Um, we found that we can still, for the most part, uh, I mean, we're still taking, we're getting crushed in the job market, the stock, the stock market, of course, on, on tech side of things. Wait, did I see that? Did Tony sneak in here? I haven't seen this yet. I'm so, I'm so backed up on chat. Um, Dauntless says, sick of listening to the news lately, especially when it comes to politics. Yeah, I can't wait to see the bright future of our country, the bright future our country deserves. Just sharing my sentiments here. Angela, I appreciate that. And that's kind of the way, like, that's not sensational terrible news you know um it's 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 a thing and it's fed to so many people you know it's as a, as a way of life it's it's a crazy thing that's why you have to think about your psychology right what you're putting into yourself for better or worse i'm not saying put your head completely in the sand and don't don't be aware there's a pandemic in the world right um you want to keep at least a thumb out but some people are just gobbling this up day in, day out. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and a lot of times on your social feeds, like everyone's got opinions. Be informed, but also, you know, meter yourself. Give yourself only so much time to absorb that. And if you do, balance it, right? There are plenty of wonderful things that are happening in the world right now. Wonderful things with connections with people, people achieving their goals. So many things are happening. We, we lose sight of that because the thing that's in the news is not 
it's not positive stuff, you know? So you got to think about that. Kyoki says, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of news lately. I check it for some F1 racing news from time to time. That's about it. Maybe some weather. How's the weather? It's cold and rainy. It's sunny and warm. <laughs> Tentanero, hello. Good to see you, man. Um, Tentanero says, that is why I barely watch news because you only get news about politics. Dauntless Queen, especially in the world right now, right? The last day to vote today, you know, all that good stuff. Dauntless Queen says, I, if only we could live as long as we like to. I know, right? Different, different things for different people. Prolific says, I like the protective. Uh, Dr. Bosky, age is like a disease. Yeah, totally prolific, right? It's it's a good mindset and science has been progressing well, you know, and, and you know, I'm not going to lie, like, Vampire syndrome. I want to live forever. I, I there's not enough. There's not enough of me in any given day to do all the things I want to do. I want to have like 12 versions of myself and pursue. Like I basically, I have this. I have this dream, right? Um, I want to be able to. Uh, you know, Elon Musk is working on this with his, you know, one of his research um, um, uh, centers, right? Get a device that that learns to scan scan my my brain basically scan all my connections and then give me the ability as me to then let an an algorithm an ai like that becomes my ai personality and it becomes a copy of myself right so i have a, a virtual version of myself that can, can continue that can continue to to grow and learn and then upload that information back to the core me so then every time i spin up a copy and this is some crazy shit, right but every time i spin a copy of myself Basically, I have the version of me that does my day job. I have the version of me that that writes, you know, stories. I have the version of me that is learning to to do graphic design and to be uh, painterly and to be able to imagine cool stuff, right? I have the story of world version of me. I have the game design director version of me. You know, so you can see where I'm going with this, right? I even have the more social version of me, right? Which is like this is my socials version of me, and that per that version of me goes out. And they check on all my friends and they make sure my friends are doing okay because i do not a very good job at that sometimes right and uh, you know they're that and then they report back to me just always uploading more information to me it's all indexed and then my brain brains because they're similar right those those connectomes get remapped so maybe um and maybe those are algorithms that i can index and search within my own self so i don't have to remember all the details to have memory overflood or overflow but that's you know one of my dreams I'd like to achieve that in this lifetime. And I know it's scary. Don't get me wrong. I realize how batshit scary that could be. I also realize that could be the the opus for me becoming a supervillain. Shit could go wrong. I fully understand, right? Um, but nevertheless, I feel like that is something I want. Oh, well, I feel and know I would, I'm committed to that, right? So, but we're still quite a ways off. Hmm. Dallas Queen says, it's stressful, dude. Because deep inside, you know in yourself that we do not deserve this kind of shit. Yeah, well said, Angela. 